I'm Dana Denha, and this is Art Fair Close-Up 2017. I'm here with Mike Madak, and I think a lot of kids might be interested in your artwork because you got a lot of superheroes around here. Yeah, big kids too. Um, yeah. It sort of uh, it def definitely brings in the kids and their parents, and the parents who like it as well. And uh, so I, I get that range for sure. What is it? Do you are you a big fan of this whole super superhero culture? Uh, yeah, yeah. I came from a comic book illustration background, and I do a lot of comic book conventions too. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just a big fan of the, uh, I guess it's really, what it comes down to is nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's, it's just sort of uh, what these invoke in, in a way, so. So what are you doing? Are you getting inspiration from things that already exist, but then kind of putting your own spin? Because I feel like that's Norman Reedus from Walking Dead right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, taking what's, uh, you know, imitating pop culture and uh, emulating in a different way. It's sort of, uh, my style is sort of um, combining impressionism with a sort of graffiti uh, impasto with uh, that comic book feel, you know, so. Why don't you talk about your process and how one of these things comes about and then are you making reproductions of them? Yeah, a lot of what you have here is just, I do canvas prints. Uh, I work large scale and it's hard to do that at a price that, you know, you can, you can sell. Mm -hmm. So I rely on prints a lot. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I'll do a sketch and then uh, I'll figure out the composition. Uh, then uh, work it up to a larger scale, like 45 by 15 usually, mm -hmm. and I'll do a painting uh, and sort of work out the kinks. Because uh, the drawing isn't the same thing as painting, so there's a, you just sort of have to figure that out as you go. So, I think one of the big pieces that sticks out since we are in Ann Arbor is the downtown cityscape you got over there. Yeah, it was, I did that one last year. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm totally pandering to the local crowd. And uh, if, I, if I plan it properly enough, I, I try to have something for the local uh, area where I come to. It, sometimes it's harder than it seems uh, just finding that block of time. Uh, oh, for sure. I mean, you're busy getting ready for the art fair and then you're actually creating a piece while you're here. Yeah, it's really risky too because like if you don't sell it here, you're not going to like sell it really anywhere else. So. But it's also really smart marketing. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it just brings people in and uh, you know, last year that one thing, I sold a third of my sales with just that one. So it worked. Uh, so you're selling here. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It did really well last year. Uh, last year they asked me to do the poster for this section of the show, and uh, that also was really nice. A lot of people came by, and I signed the poster for them. So awesome! Do you have a website? Yeah, it's just uh, medak.com. Just my name, uh, M-A-Y-D-A-K.com, and uh, it's my website. You find all the links to everything from there. Why should people come visit you at this year's Ann Arbor Art Fair? Uh, why should they? <laughs> why shouldn't they is the question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm here. You got four days uh, to come down here. Uh, save shipping, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Great. That's a great idea. And get to see it in uh, first hand. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Stay tuned for more from the Ann Arbor Art Fair.